Hey friends, it's Nancy. We're back to continue working on our vintage sewing pattern. So, um, we left off, we had glued the fabric to the, to our curved spine. Um, and, uh, off camera, I folded up the fabric and just glued that down. So it's good and solid. Now, you're probably thinking that feels kind of flimsy, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get better. So I've cut a piece of, um, I don't know, maybe it's linen or something. And it's a half an inch wider than the curved spine. So my spine is two and a quarter. So I've cut it two and three quarters. And it's um, a half an inch shorter. So my length is eight and a half and I've cut it eight. So I am going to glue this in just to sort of make it robust. I'm sure it's fine, but I think I'll feel better with a little bit of robust. Now the inside of the uh, front and back covers We'll be doing in, um, inside pages there, so. That will thicken that up a bit too. And everything that I'm putting here right now, it's going to be covered by the, um, the inside spine that we prepared uh, the other day. Just a little more glue. So uh, as I'm filming this, it's Wednesday. Um, I think it's Friday for you. And today is our anniversary. So Doug has been a cooking fiend all day while I was at work. House smells terrific. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Apparently there's something exciting gonna happen. All right, so, um, when we have the signatures in, the signatures get sewn here, and these flaps of fabric will be um, glued over. So that won't show. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over because now I wanna start thinking about um, my signatures. So I want eight signatures, and in each signature I will put um a page so a total of 48 pieces of paper um so i just took out everything that's in my wedding stuff box and i'm just gonna go through it and see and i've got an em empty box here and if it's a yes i'm gonna use it i'll put it in here if it's no it's going back in the box so one of the things I for sure wanted to do was add a, a hanky. Um, not exactly the blue I wanted. So I just grabbed a handful of what I had. Gosh, this one would have been good if it had pink flowers. I think that would have been perfect if I had pink flowers, but they're yellow and orange. Dang. So I will... Um, like cut up and uh, I'll cut up a uh, handkerchief to make pockets or something that one's really orange 
This one's really pretty. Let's see if anything has color. That's yellow. Hmm. It's not very lacy, though. Again, that one's not very lacy. This one's super lacy. It's all lace. Okay. I think I'm going to go with... That one or this one? I think I'm going to go with this one. Although I really like this one. I like how um, the lace is gathered at the corner. One with this one. Okay. Oh, there's another one. This one's kind of got a acru color to it, ivory. It's got tatting on it. I like the tatting, but we'll use that in another project. Okay. So you're a yes. Um, for sure, I already ripped the skirt off of this wedding bell thing. I want to make a pocket or a tuck spot or something out of this I'm gonna cut her off so I don't get carried away I love this photo it's got to be used uh, these are place cards and they're gold I don't think I'm gonna use those what does this say the heart oh these are um some kind of fortune-telling cards. They're in the right color family. I will put those in there. Um, I'm not sure that I want to use any of these little gift cards. I will sort out the ones that are in the right color family and then I can decide later. keep three. These are in no way the right color. These are all purple. Ah, oh, I got these old Eureka seals at uh, an antique mall. Yeah, we need to use those. They need to they need to go in our journal. Those are pink. No. This is green. It also has that aqua color. Yeah. Ooh. There's another one that matches good. These are mostly all cards. That's an oldie but a goodie. I wonder if there's a date on it. I love the pink roses. I'm not going to use that one. No, oh, it's got gold in it. I don't want any metallics. I might not have a choice, though. Oh, here's a blue one. Nineteen fifty-three. Mm. Oh, this one's fuzzy. <laughs> On your wedding day. Yeah, 
might use that. That's a no. 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 Well, this has got gold on it. For my wife on our anniversary. Oh, here's another wedding photo. My goodness, they don't look very happy. <laughs> but I, I, I might need to use that. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so the rest of these are going elsewhere. Oh, this is a wedding day salutations. This isn't a card. I remember buying this. It has uh, all these different little images. I think these have got to be an age. I don't know. I don't. No, I'll put it in the bucket. Maybe I'll use it. These ones I wanted to use somewhere. Okay, I have some scraps of wrapping paper. I'm not going to use any of those. Gosh, that's cute. That's a wedding shower uh, napkin. I might, I might use that. Oh. I don't think so. I think this is pretty old paper. Pretty thin. Oh, look at this one. Showers of happiness. Okay, not using any of those. Where'd these little people come from? All right. Now I did want to use this. Ooh, I got two of them. I have two oval. I will use those. That is cute, cute, cute wrapping paper. Okay. This I can put away. my blue lace. I want that. Oh, this one's nice. I can definitely make a page out of that. No. No. This one's pretty, but I'm not using it. <laughs> mm, it's kind of pretty. Okay. We've got that. And I got this wedding music. It's 
somewhere I have a staple remover. Do I like know where it is? No, no, of course I don't know where it is. I've lost my pliers too. I don't know where they went. I don't think I'll be using cover this is from just want the ones that have the titles which is good because they've all got titles oh. that one does not oh it does on the back we want the pages to be are eight and a quarter and the widest we want them to be right around in that 11 and a half so how big are these these are 12 by Just shy of nine. So let me just check one out here. So if I cut from just a quarter inch past that music to that's about eight inches, that should be okay. I think I want about, uh, well, I could use one piece of music for every, um, every signature. And we said, we said uh, 11 and a half, right? Yeah, it's not hard to cut it off the bottom. I think I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to gesso them just to take back some of the music a bit. 
Um, maybe I'll actually cut an extra <laughs> just in case I don't like it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll just keep cutting in the meantime. And this was... Eight and a half? No, not eight and a half. Eight and a quarter. Hmm. I guess. So this weekend is the long weekend here in Canada. We celebrate Thanksgiving in August. Or sorry, October. <laughs> so Monday is Thanksgiving. Uh, I've got my turkey. I'm not sure what day I'm going to actually cook it. Um, that's two. But we'll figure it all out. I guess I should ask my son what he wants to do. He's kind of the determining factor. I don't know that he actually has plans because, um, you know, the premier has told us to be extra responsible this year. with our holiday gatherings. Oh, poo! How did that happen? Use my rolly. Okay, that one I'm not gonna use. What was I saying? <laughs> Responsible adulting? <laughs> ah. um. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sometimes he goes to his roommate's family. I don't know. Or maybe I'm thinking of Christmas. I don't know. That's three. I just get um, one of those butter balls that are already stuffed that you, you cook it from frozen and that dressing is good enough for me let me tell you and uh, there's always plenty of leftovers Ooh, Ave Maria. I love Ave Maria. And I'm going to have this as my earworm all day. Could be worse. I'm interested to know if anybody's actually crafting along with me. Let me know and what uh, what or if you're doing a theme. 
very curious, very curious. Did I already cut this? I feel like I already cut this. It looks thin, it looks very thin. Tonight is the, again, this is Wednesday. It's the vice, pre vice presidential debate in the US. And for those of you, yeah, I did cut this, that um, are in the US, you might be surprised just how interested we are in your politics and how many of us uh, watch the debates. Last week, was it last week was, yeah, last week was the debate, the debate. And the next day, CBC Radio, there was a call-in show just about, you know, what, what stuck with you? How do you feel? It's very interesting. Two, three, four, five. This one's got pencil marks all over it. Let's not use that one. Oh, promise me, that's another popular. hit the camera. Yeah. Silly girl. Got some heavy equipment outside. I don't know what they're doing. Digging up the road again. the thrift store after work today just because I hadn't been to this one for a long long time and uh, actually I s gosh it's noisy out there I scored some great um, stuff in terms of uh, you know shipping products for my Etsy store so that was good because envelopes and stuff can be super expensive why didn't you cut? Disappointed in you. Very disappointed in you. So there was a lady there and she was loading stuff on the shelves. And she's like, does this go here? <laughs> I don't know where to, where to put anything. So, so I'm telling her, put that there and put that there. And <laughs> I said, you need me here full time. And she says, well, you do seem to know where everything goes. <laughs> I'm just bossy. That's all. Not that I know anything. Just bossy. This one just needs a little smidgy off one end. And then she was, she went by again later and she had a great big, um, uh, pickle crock, you know, one of those stoneware pickle crocks. She said, where do I put this? And there was a man, he says, we'll put it with the kitchen stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh... Oh, well, she must have been a volunteer. And this was at, um, Worth a Second Look. So Worth a Second Look is affiliated with the Working Center, which is, uh, which is a charity. And they do 
amazing, amazing work with um, people who are living in poverty and experiencing homelessness. Um, so I sure don't mind giving them my money. I've actually called them for help um, with uh, some of my some of my clients' needs, and they have always been very good. I was helping a guy; he had just got out of jail, and he needed. Um, you know, safety um, work work boots so that he could go to work. And what those work boots, you know, the kind that are steel toed and say, you know, the safety soles, what have you, those can be super expensive. So I called and I said, "Do you have any work boots?" "Yep, come get them." So she sent me home. I did go, and she sent me home with, oh three or four pair and she says have them try them on and it, what doesn't fit or won't work bring back no problem all right one two three four five six seven eight um and they always have really nice antiques, and I think it's because, um, I think it because this this uh, it's actually a, a married couple that uh, runs this organization. All right, how am I doing for time? Oh, all right. So I will close for now. I didn't finish my thought. I know I didn't. Um, but I think I'll close the video for now because I am trying to keep these under half an hour. Um, but I will be spending some time going through my papers and choosing things to go with uh, this journal. And um, getting them ready. And then when we come back, I'll have all of my papers ready to see if there's any... Um, like if I want to sew some pockets on or I want to sew some lace on the sides before they get sewn into the signature. So that's what we'll be doing next is some decisions about embellishing the papers themselves. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. We hope to see you again soon. Take care.